What's going on, everybody? There's no inside OG here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoy it. And we are back with another video today. In this video, I'm going to be going over the background, bio, and information of Alibi or Alibi. I'll call her Alibi just for sake for everybody else. I call her Libby, but you can call her Alibi. So I'll call her Alibi for you guys. All right, let's get into it. She is a defender of the year three, season two operators, Italian. Let's, this is what she looks like. Then let's get into her loadout first, of course. So first, her primary weapons. She is an MX4 Storm submachine gun, renowned 9mm submachine gun with an ele elegant package that possesses a high rate of fire. An extended barrel upgrade increases his range. The ACS-12 shotgun, this 12-gauge combat shotgun is fully automatic and drum-fed, great for blasting holes in walls and possesses surprisingly low recoil and muzzle rise. Secondary weapons of a Bailey 410 handgun, this .410 bore shotgun in a revolver package is a dual-caliber gun designed with compact polymer body. It does medium damage with minimal spread, basically a judge, combat shotgun, pistol, whatever you want to call it. Uh, a Keratos .357 handgun. This is designed for high damage at a short medium range. The vertically inverted barrel alignment naturally reduces muzzle rise and recoil. She has two gadgets of impact grenade, grenade that explodes on impact, of course, and deployable shield, which is a deployable crouch height cover that blocks all weapon damage except grenades. Um, her headgear, this is what she starts off with. This is her basic headgear that you get when you get alibi or alibi. Alibi, yeah, and then this is her DLC one that you get with the season pass. You have two other ones you can buy, which is the Wind Bastion for 4500 and the Concrete Jungle for 1100 We can go to her uniforms now. This is the basic uniform, default. Then you can get this Mountain Foilage for the season pass. 1800 you can buy Concrete Jungle, and then for Wind Bastion is 1100 Looks fiery. Let's get into her details and statistics. Unique ability is Prisma. Deploys holograms of alibi and tags hostiles when fired upon. She has low armor, which means she's fast, high speed, the highest speed, three speed. Um, she has little holograms on the ground, so you know, you look on the ground, you look in the direction you want the hologram to look, you place it on the ground, like a little ball that you just toss on the ground, and then it rolls, stops, splits open, and a hologram of your character will pop up. Anybody who shoots the hologram will be marked on the map for like a good five seconds. So you can see them through the walls and everything. Let's see her bio. Operator name, Aria DeLuca. Nickname, Alibi. Counterterrorism unit, the GIS. Date of birth, December 15th. She's 37 years old. Place of birth, Tripoli, Libya. Height, 1.71 meters. And her weight, 63 kilograms. Background. Never reveal the cards you were dealt. Aria Alibi DeLuca was born in Tripoli, Libya, and immigrated with her family when she was three years old. Her father managed to <clears throat> her father managed a small ordnance manufacturer using his extensive North American, North African contacts to open up exports to that region. DeLuca earned her understanding and usage of Italian firearms throughout the family business and training at the shooting range at 18 years old. Aria entered the European Championships organized by the European Shooting Confederation and won the gold in both the 10 meter running target and the 10 meter air pistol divisions. Following the event, a Carabinieri recruiter convinced her to join the police force. DeLuca's precision shooting skills and professionalism shot her up the ranks quickly, and she served a time with the elite Ragrupamento Operativo Speciale in fighting organized crime. She eventually earned a spot in the prestigious Grupo Intervento Speciale, which is the GIS, and followed a successful operation in Afghanistan despite being separated from her unit. She was singled out from undercover work in organized crime. She infiltrated the Binchi Guerra crime family as an arms dealer and spent several years among them before bringing them down to the inside. A newspaper leak of impending operations against the Vinci Guerra's then forced the GIS to accelerate their initiative. Following the undercover work and the successful dismantling of the Vinciguerra crime family, Aria De Luca received the invitation of joining Rainbow as a capable operator. Psychological Report Specialist Aria De Luca, aka Alibi, presents a multi-layered facade 
undoubtedly stemming from her years of undercover operations, but I suspect it's a protective measure likelier rooted in her childhood. She carries a deep-seated hatred for the crime families. That's much obvious. It's the closest I've become to seeing her sophisticated veneer crack. And I think it may compromise her ability to operate rationally when it comes to organized crime. Thanks to my contacts within the Carabinieri's chief of staff office, I was able to gain access to Specialist DeLuca's psych evals, ev evaluations throughout her application to join the GIS, crossing analyze, oh, GIS, cross analyzing with that old police records and her family's hospital visits. I believe her father was the victim of pizza or a protection racket. Unless DeLuca Sr. was singularly unlucky enough to replete, repeatedly break fingers, fall down stairs, and break his own arm twice, the specialist DeLuca was never himself, herself injured and shows the same strong constitution and mental fortitude that we come to expect from all of our operators. Psychologically, however, the wounds are deep and I sus suspect that her father's brush with organized crime has set our alibi on her path. Alibi as a codename, is also rather telling. Considering the circumstances that cut short her undercover operation against the Vinci Guerra crime family, on paper, Specialist DeLuca is a decorated hero of the GIS with a gold medal for civil valor for her efforts. But if you dig a little, she has her detractors who believe she was the source of the leak that nearly sabotaged the GIS investigation. Specialist DeLuca was enjoying a media meteoric meteor, meteoric rise within the Vinci Guerra family crime family as an arms dealer when she gained access to a compound outside of the Genoa outside of Genoa that was central to the Vinci Guerra's human trafficking operations. As a neutralized immigrant herself, it would seem that when specialist DeLuca saw the dozens of refugees waiting to be sold into slave labor and prostitution at the hands of the Vinci Garros, it broke through her well-crafted defenses and compelled her to act. I know for a fact that she tried to convince her superiors to raid the Genoa compound and that they refused because they were still gathering intel. I know that the reporter who cited the confidential informant in his expose on the Genoa compound received his intel in the days following Specialist Delica's meeting with her bosses. I'll state this for the, wec for the record. If Specialist DeLuca did leak the information to spur the GIS into action and to save those lives in Genoa, then I am somewhat relieved. It proves that there are lines Specialist DeLuca will not cross, and this may prove important. I suspect that Under Secretary General Barston used back channels to put Specialist DeLuca's service jacket on my desk, and that he isn't a supporter of the Rainbow Program. Whatever he hopes to gain with this man maneuver, I can state with no modest degree of certainty that Specialist DeLuca remains unaware of his polit political agenda, but she likely has a part of, to play in whatever Under Secretary General Barston may have planned. If we want to get her on our side of things, then Specialist Maestro Mortello's inclusion in Rainbow serves us for both his skills and his ability to get past Specialist DeLuca's walls. They worked extensively together during the vent Vinciguerra operations. She provided the intel and his unit ex acted on it. I suspect the relationship may be closer than that, but there appears to be a level of vol volatility that bears closer watch. Are they close friends? Are they familial? Or something else? Time will tell. Fortunately, Specialist DeLuca seems to fit in well foregoing the hazing that both the SAS and SEAL operators seem to fond of inflicting. In conclusion, I believe Specialist DeLuca is a valuable addition to the Rainbow program and that her particular skills will keep the teams guessing during asymmet asymmetrical combat simulations. Training, Carabinieri, Raggruppamento Operativo Speciale, and Gruppo di Intervento Speciale GIS. Relevant experience, war in Afghanistan, Operation Red Sweep, and Operation Spider Wasp. Notes. Specialist Pichon and I work closely with Specialist DeLuca in fine-tuning the Prisma. 
The device is complicated, and I doubt you'll be able to follow all the technical expertise that went into crafting this device, so I'll keep it simple. Once it's thrown and unfolds, the Prisma projects a realistic image of Specialist DeLuca, drawing enemy fire and even showing the origin of a shot. This is critical when trying to fool the enemy into committing a tactical mistake. The Prisma is not a holograph projector, it's a volumetric display. Big difference, and much more immense impressive when you realize how hard it was to make this work. The Prisma uses a laser light to suspend dust-like particles in the air, changing air pressure. The pre-generated image of Specialist DeLuca is then projected on the dust screen from multiple angles, creating a 2D to a 3D frame. It looks entirely real and much better than it did a hologram it can do. We're talking an image at over 1600 dpi. If you knew photography, you'd be awestruck. The image is static, of course, but we managed to add a tracking feature that instantly marks the origin of a round that interrupted the projection. That was Specialist DeLuca's suggestion, and it pretty, it's pretty smart for someone without an engineering degree. Specialist Masuru Echo Inatsu. And that's the end of Alibi's background bio information. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. So like always, stay healthy, stay sexy, and I'll see you guys in my next video.